healthcare clinic, you have to phone multiple times for a non-existent appointment because they are all at capacity at 8 a.m. Oh. This is entirely unacceptable. Shame. Imagine bringing your child to the BC Children's Hospital emergency room. You sit in the waiting room and you wait for eight hours, wondering whether your child has anything worrisome before you can see a doctor. That's horrible. Imagine how difficult and how unkind this is to our people in the community. It's all because we do not have access to essential primary care. In my practice, it is not uncommon that I see people with life-changing diagnosis. When they come too late to care, one of the most common theme is, I cannot access anybody because my family doctor have retired. I can tell you a story. One of my leukemia patients sought care at the emergency room because by the time they were sick, they were very sick, so they went to the emergency room. But because of the multiple medical issues that left unaddressed, it was very challenging to provide the optimal care for the leukemia. So by delaying the care, it has compromised the outcome. Shame. In my practice, I also have many older adults, patients that I see. More and more, they have a longer list of medical conditions. They have a longer list of medications that they are on. They could come with diabetes, kidney conditions, heart conditions, arthritis, so on and so forth. Juggling cancer care and cancer treatment with multiple conditions, it's very complicated. Harsh. Without a family physician as the quarterback or as the main pillar of care, I often find myself playing the Jenga game blindfolded with many other specialists that we do not have a single person or single entry to coordinate the whole picture for the patient. Shame. This is unacceptable. Without a family physician, more and more my patient asked me to address their primary care concern. Whether that could be their cardio, their heart diseases, could be their diabetes. That further perpetuates the problems with access. And my patient is not having the right person to address their concern. I'm not capable to look after the combination of medical issues and provide a whole person care. That is the specialty of family medicine. Right. Woo! Patient needs a family doctor to advise them, to counsel them, to guide them through the healthcare journey to provide information, to allow them to make comfortable decisions of their care throughout the journey. This is very complicated. Episodic care is not appropriate and it is unsafe. That's right. But this is what we are facing in British Columbia today. Shame. We have a system level problem that has continually disproportionately impacted individuals in our community. Yeah. Primarily are the isolated older patients, right. patients that live on the margin of the society, or they cannot advocate for themselves because of the disability or their medical conditions. Imagine how do you access tell us health when you don't have a cell phone. It's just messed up, man. In our current worldview, we value equity and inclusion. The healthcare system is not equitable, exactly. neither is it inclusive. Neither is society. 
Our healthcare system is in a crisis. It has not keep people well, neither could it patch people up appropriately. Instead of providing meaningful answers, I'm disappointed with the divisive rhetoric and the vague answers. Minister Dix, I want to hear real solution and a plan. That's right. Woo! Or you're fired, you're fired otherwise. Our families, doctors are vital resources for our community. Please work with them respectfully. Absolutely. That's right. Thank you for inviting me to speak. How inspiring is that? Whoa! So we're, we have, uh, we have Dr. Simon Hookworth. Is that correct, sir? Close enough. <laughs> An emergency room doctor in Victoria who worked till three o'clock last, three o'clock in the morning last night and has come here to tell us his stories. Whoa! Awesome. Thank you. And he's allowed us to just move you in the schedule a little bit. There are some politicians here who are going to say a few words. No. But before we do that, we're going to do an old-fashioned rant, okay? And so I'm going to start it. And you're going to reply with doctors, okay? Okay. What do we deserve? Doctors! What do we deserve? Doctors! What do we deserve? Doctors! Not bad, not bad. We're gonna want these windows and doors to shake. They're gonna hear our message. What do we want? Doctors! What do we deserve? Doctors! What do we want? Feels good. I'd like to now introduce MLA Shirley Bond, Valmont, Prince George Valmont, MLA for Prince George Valmont, representing the Liberal Party. Shirley.